Well, that's from back in the garden this morning. Kind of cool this morning, temperature-wise. Uh, it was rather clear last night, too, which I'm sure contributed to that. But I thought I'd show you a little something um, interesting in the garden that you may have seen but not realized what you were looking at. Um, if you notice, on some of the tips of these leaves, uh, there are tiny little water droplets. And most people would think this is um, dew drops from condensation in the air. Um, actually, it's not. Uh, what it is, there's a good example there, is when water, water is typically pulled up a plant. Um, so the roots, the roots through osmosis draw water in and you can get a little bit of root pressure, a little bit of water pressure in the roots that will try to force water up plants but usually the way water travels up a plant is when a when a water molecule so when a water molecule leaves this leaf water is cohesive so water is stuck to another water molecule so when it leaves that leaf kind of like a pull on this string here water will leave a leaf and it'll pull on the water that it's uh, connected to and so through that means it'll kind of pull water up from the roots up through the stem and out the leaf and that works quite well in the day um, when humidity tends to be relatively low and water can just leave the leaf and no big deal but at night when humidity gets a little higher um, transpiration rates decrease so water is not leaving the plant as quickly as it was during the day and so what can happen especially in smaller plants like these tomatoes um, you can generate pressure inside the plant um, so as the water is pulled in to the roots it generates a pressure inside the plant and when that when that pressure gets high enough it'll actually force water outside or out of the leaf in a process called gutation um, and so it's not dew drops it's actually um, a direct effect there's a good example it's a direct effect of the forces inside the plant rather neat